Hi everyone, I'm Laurentio and in this video I'm going to talk about all Spyro games for the Nintendo GameCube. Spyro Enter the Dragonfly was the first time a Spyro game came out on a console other than a PlayStation. The game came out on PS2 and GameCube. Also it was the first time a Spyro game wasn't developed by Insomniac Games. Enter the Dragonfly is focused more on collecting than on anything else, from collecting gems to dragonflies. Sure, the game has some variety, but the main focus of the game is the collecting. It's not a bad thing, I like it, but hardcore players or players that like to have a little bit of challenge when playing might be disappointed that the game is mostly about collecting and doesn't really give you a challenge. Sure, you have some jumps to make, but the game is still more about collecting than platforming, and it's very, it's very easy to beat. The combat is easy and you also get some vehicular levels, Spyro gets different sorts of breaths, like the classic fire breath, a bubble breath, and he can also emit lightning. Oh, and he also has an ice breath. The game is comprised of 9 beautiful worlds, I recommend you play it, I liked it, it's jolly, relaxing and good looking. And I like the variety in gameplay, you get different sorts of gameplay styles. Whether it is that you shoot or swim or glide or fly, you, you have multiple gameplay elements, you don't just do the same stuff. Sure, the goal is the same, to collect, but you still get a lot to do and you get many different ways to collect. And I had fun playing it. Spyro A Hero's Tale is another great game. This time it's not that much focused on collecting, it returned to platforming. And the platforming is great. It's not super easy but not difficult either. It's balanced. You also get some puzzles that again feel balanced, they never felt repetitive. Also the combat is a little more challenging. It's not challenging but comparing it with the previous game you have to fight more. You have to work for it more. If in the previous game you could only breathe once on an enemy and he was down, here you have to dash more and since you have to work more to take down enemies, they feel more varied. Also this game too spices things up when it comes to gameplay. It's not just platforming and puzzles and combat, but you play with different characters too, Spyro isn't the only character you play as. The story is fun, this one too is a game I recommend you play. It's pretty underrated because people compare it with the original series and get disappointed, but I, I liked it. I liked it. I liked the original series and this series too. These two games are amazing. Too bad that people underrate them just because they aren't the exact same thing as the original trilogy. And The Legend of Spyro A New Beginning is exactly what the name says, a new beginning. It's a Spyro reboot, it tells the origin story of Spyro, and if you're new to the series, The Legend of Spyro brings some notable differences to the original series. The gameplay isn't focused on platforming anymore, but it shifts its focus to the combat. Spyro has a handful of moves, including 4 different breath attacks, fire, electricity, ice and earth. Though, even if you get b to breathe fire, it's not effective, it's easier to just hit enemies. And not only that breathing fire is less effective, but it even drains, so it's, it's limited and you need to collect gems to fill it up again, and hitting is, is better anyway. The combat gets very repetitive, and the moves you perform are repetitive too, I mean you perform the same moves on almost the same enemies over and over and the camera control isn't that great either, but the visuals are top quality, like Spyro games usually benefit of some great visuals, I mean the game is gorgeous, but it's, it's very repetitive, that's about the only complaint I have with the game, I mean I have to be obje objective. It is indeed repetitive, but I had a lot of fun playing it. And even if there are a lot of people that claim that this series on the GameCube is not good just because it's not like the original trilogy, ignore them, just, just try out the games for yourself and see how good they are. I mean, 
sure each one has its flaws, but I had fun playing them. And maybe so will you. Just try them. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks. You have the link to the join button in the description. Also, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord if you want. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.